date 621. Popped up in my head because 621, 2011, adds to 13. I don't have to go into detail in the numerology with 13 in it. And also, 621, 621 adds to 9, which is 9 11. Now, last month we heard that on 521 the world was going to end. That was a hoax. It was a hoax so people would not pay attention and realize that there's a lot of disinformation informing the public of certain things and certain things are not and it makes a lot of sense in Illuminati fashion that they do things it is the New Madrid fault line their new disaster um, I paused the trailer movie knowing at around 47 seconds a lot of numbers pop up in numerology and we know that in numerology or uh, subliminal messages it's like it's, uh, it's something that the mind does not catch because it's subliminal your subconscious caught it and you can see all the numbers pop up and if you look at it very quite well you see a lot of sixes You'll see 22 and you'll see 11. And you'll see the number 21. 22 referring to 11, 11. 22. The Illuminati Master Mason numbers, which is uh, 11, 13, 22, and 33. Look around, people. In the beginning of the movie, knowing, we got subliminal, subliminal imagery. First of all, you got uh, Summit Entertainment with Peak, Mountain Peak, which symbolizes symbolizes a pyramid. Right after that, you have Escape Artists with an eye, the All-Seeing Eye. Pay attention to the date, people. 6 2011 is 9 11 and adds up to 13. And another interesting thing is that it falls on a Tuesday. The 10 year anniversary of 9 11 is coming up. Referring to 9 11 2001, the Twin Towers, the false flag. 9-11, the inside job. I think everybody's waking up to that fact. And I think a lot of people are waking up to a lot of disinformation, a lot of deception, and a lot of uh, subliminal things that people are catching. I, mean, like I was interested in this uh, video that uh, I think it was Pimp Naughty that uh, posted. Obama's talking about heartbreaking. That sounds like harp. Heartbreaking, breaking, earthquakes, tornadoes and so forth. Uh, these are my thoughts. Today's date is uh, June 6, 2011 and Johnny 311 out. Um, people keep on speaking the truth because you got to start thinking outside the box. That's the only way you're going to get to uh, to figure out things. Otherwise you're just you're just asleep and you're not paying attention you're too entertained with the world as is with Hollywood movies American Idol all these shows that are uh, produced by the biggest the biggest networks like Fox NBC CBS ABC you name it FX all these are owned by big conglomerate CEOs, owners of big, big corporations, and you could just go down the rabbit hole and it, you know, there's a lot of people involved. It's a big propaganda. 
it's like a curtain you see you see the outside when you open your window and if you move the curtain you can see the sun if it's the sun is out but if you move the curtain you're blinded by it and that's what they're doing it's like a they're like behind the scenes doing things without you noticing park chemtrails they're all real people and people don't want to accept it and don't want to <laughs> I guess they just don't want to accept it and maybe for some people it's best not to accept it because it's a it's a mechanism that protects them fear you know that's what they want us to fear we gotta stop fearing you gotta stop start looking outside the box this world is changing rapidly uh, I myself have lost, have lost faith I was once a little witness well, I was brought up as a little witness but I lost faith completely Learned a lot of things of the deception into religions, including Joe and this is including the Watchtower Society and the subliminal messages they have in their Watchtower Track um, publications, books. I mean, the many times they've been wrong about the end of the world, 1975, 1914, and so on and so forth. Rutherford and Russell. Um, all I can say, uh, these are my thoughts. Six, six, six. 2011 um, I hadn't posted a video on my thoughts but I mean this I just I felt compelled to put up something because I see so much stuff in Hollywood movies as far as subliminal messages predictive programming like the movie knowing I mean that's it's so full of it I mean from beginning to end if you've noticed there's so much imagery and so much things going on and the words they use like puzzles mazes uh, disasters It's just too obvious, but a lot of people aren't looking outside the box because they feel protected by not questioning things. I question a lot. I have an open mind now. There was a time where I had a closed mind and I had to, I had to wake up to reality. This is reality, folks. This is the reality. I have two little girls and that's all I live for, my two little girls. I have a son which I don't see much. He lives in Boston he's very well with his mom. My stepdad. Uh, well, my main concern are my daughters. I just, they're, they're like my world. They're my world. So, peace out, YouTubers. Um, I'll keep posting what I can post and what I, you know, what I think I can post. And I'm trying to get a video camera because I'm trying to uh, put out videos of my own too. Um, but keep an eye on all these movies. I mean, like Green Lantern, the new one, X Men, First Class. It's all about the army. You know, we know that who's doing part. I mean, it's obvious. It's too obvious. If people aren't seeing it. Well, then you gotta open your eyes, brothers and sisters. You gotta open your eyes. Um, it's everywhere. Magazines. TV. Anything that has to do with the media, the propaganda is there. And the subliminal messages are there, and the imagery is there. Peace, YouTubers. Be well. Until next time.